have uh, such, uh, let's say, history that always when new player uh, plays in Gurnik, yeah. our speaker, stadium speakers ask, what is your first impression? <laughs> so tell us what is your first impression about uh, playing uh, today? Very good. Very good impression. I felt uh, really privileged uh, to be part of um, Lucas' team, but also his, it was also Zabje's team. So I'm, I'm really pleased and I felt um, six years after finishing my career it felt natural you know so I um, I was really welcomed by the whole team and you could see like the first 20 minutes that I played with two of my colleagues you know from the national team but also the rest of the team um, was really good you know it was easy to to play good football okay what is your best uh, memory about uh, Lucas uh, career um, Probably 10 years together in the national team, you know, from uh, us being together very young, very, very inexperienced, you know, making step by step, you know, through really good moments, through getting knocked out and not winning, you know, in Germany, then in, uh, in South Africa, but then the third World Cup together, we won it. So it's, it's about our journey together, you know, with suffering difficult losses, but um, we always went that far that we could build on it. So I think the best memories obviously are his, his goals that he scored for the national team and because I was at the back, you know, trying to clean up and he was the one that would finish a lot of good action. So I'm really grateful that he was the finisher that he was because you need always goal scorers in your team. Otherwise, you've got no chance to win. Uh, as an academic manager, uh, tell us uh, when you look back and history with mm. being with Lucas, mm -hmm. uh, did you uh, thought that he may be uh, something like a sports director, uh, the helping academy, etc. Mm -hmm. And back in the days, um, no, I think he has got all the opportunities in the world because first and foremost, you know, he, his longevity in his career, he's done a lot of things right. And for young players to understand, you have to do a lot of things right every single day. You know, the choices and the behaviors that you made. And he was certainly someone that wanted to win. But he also understood that, you know, there needs to be a lot of preparation in order to be fit, to be at your best, to play at a certain level. And he represents all of that. So he's a very good role model for a lot of, you know, youngsters. So anything really for him, you know, and with his experience of international football, local football, um, being a role model, he's got loads of things to offer. But first, he really needs to stop and think about his next step. And uh, tell me, uh, last thing, uh, there was a, a TV series uh, from Polish television uh, about Lukas Podolski and you uh, said a lot of about the character. Mm -hmm. uh, you think that his kind, uh, his kind of character is um, welcoming modern football? In more where? In modern football. In modern football? Yeah, yeah that and character his... never gets old. It never never gets old, you know, his, his characteristics, you know, never get old. You know, if it's modern or, you know, from 20 years ago, uh, I think what he represents is a certain kind of positive energy, determination that will never get old, you know, because you have to have certain conviction, you know, to survive in football, you know, to go from transition from youth football to first team at a very young age, you, you need a lot of the right ingredients, so that will never get old, you know, and everyone who experienced it like him or myself know that it's difficult, but at some stage you've got to deliver, you've got to perform, and that is all built over years and years. But was it easier back in the days, and but um, now with this kind of character? Um, I'm, I'm not sure whether it was easier. I think back in the day you had to earn it much harder. You know, now first team dressing room, in my experience, are much more welcoming to young players. And if they see you have a good character and you want to improve, you want to become a good player, that, that is easy. Back in the days, 20, 25 years ago, straight away there was rivalry. There was sense for, no, the young players need to deliver first. They have to, they have to be the last out. They have to carry everything. That, it's a bit different now, so I think, but I think still character is the, the main essence and the only way for anyone to be, be successful you, long, long term. You work with young players, yeah. what, what would be your advice you know, for them? 
to develop, you know, to be maybe in the future professional players. Is it a good way? Yeah, first of all, you got to show level of commitment. That's the starting point, you know. Um, but the next step is not only the commitment, but the consistency is key. And that is where we most of the time, you know, are then impatient. We want everything now, you know. It's now normal that you are with 17, 18, you want to get your debut. Uh, then you want to play for the national team. Then you want to go the next step. And if that doesn't happen, then there's a, you know, people get impatient very, very quickly. You have to build, you know, that consistency over time. And I think, um, you know, youngsters sometimes are impatient, but they're eager, you know, to progress very quickly. Uh, but I think what, what separates is still the character, the, the, the person that you represent and you always will be, because that will show up. If you, if you don't have that, you can't be consistent. I'd like to ask you, because you are based in England, yeah. you, from your experience, because when we talk to Lukas, uh, he's on one side in Poland, yeah. uh, you know, uh, very close to Burdik Zabrze, but yeah. on, on, the, on the other hand, he's in, uh, in Poland. What would, yeah. you, what, uh, what would you, you advise him? To stay in Poland or, you know, to come back to Germany? <coughs> His family will decide. Simple as that. That was the same for me. The family will dictate where he will be and then I'm sure wherever he will go, he'll make a difference for the next generation football. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.